Today we're doing something really great. We're gonna be using paints. We're actually using tempera paint. That's the paint that's in the ice cube trays. And we're gonna create values. Now, value is the lightness or darkness of a color. So here's what we've gotta to learn today. We've gotta to learn how to make a color lighter and how to make a color darker. Now, to make a color Let's, first thing I want you to do is I want you to decide what color you want to make the sky. Now, you are going to be creating this artwork um, with a winter animal. And so you think about what color you want the sky to be. I'm, I decided I want my sky to be blue. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue right out of the tray and I'm going to come across right about in the middle and I'm going to have it fl kind of flat on the end, kind of straight across there. But then I'm going to give it a little bit of wave like this, like I'm um, painting maybe hills, right, like that. And I'm just using blue straight out of the tray. So once you've done that, what I want to do is I'm going to get lighter and have lighter values going this way, and I'm going to have darker values going this way. To make it a color lighter, what you need to do is add white. Now, to do this, for this project today, you're going to need your temper paint. You're going to need a cup of water because you're going to need to be washing your brush off several times. You're going to need a paper towel because I've got to dry my paint brush off really good and you're going to need a mixing paper this is what I mix my paints on it's a little brown paper that's over in the painting station now when I'm going to make a tint I like to get a bunch of white because my color is really powerful so I'm going to get three little scoops of white that I'm going to wash my paint brush off in the water because I want to make sure that my paint brush is clean and dry before I dip into a color and then I'm going to get um, blue. So I'm going to get some blue on my paintbrush and I'm going to mix this in. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this lightest blue. This is a light, light blue. And I'm going to come all the way up here at the top and I'm going to paint in the top part here just like that with that light blue. Then what I want to do, that's a tint of blue because I've added white to it. Then what I want to do, I'm going to clean off my paintbrush and I'm going to add a little bit more blue. Let's see what happens to this color. Each time I add a little bit more blue, it's going to get a little darker. All right, so I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start to do maybe some mountains, just like this. because remember, I'm making a landscape. Landscape is the land. I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna make a polar bear. So I want my polar to be, bear to be maybe in the Arctic. Okay, so you see I have the lightest blue. It's getting a little darker. To make it even darker, I'm gonna clean my paintbrush off, get another scoop of blue. I'm adding that each time to this white to get it a little bit darker. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to do some more mountains. Now, I'm thinking this, I want maybe a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more paint on my paintbrush. So I'm going to clean it off, get some more blue. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Yeah, I like that better and I'm gonna paint right up to my blue. And you can see I now have blue, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. And now for my just plain blue, you can see it dried, it dried a little transparent. So I'm gonna put one more coat of that on. So I'm gonna dip in, I'm gonna put one more coat of this. You can see how that this is darker. This is just straight blue. 
So I've done the tint side. What I need to do now is the shade side. You can, you can see with each level, I kind of did some hills or some mountains. Now, if you're like me, my, pa my um, paper towel is getting kind of messy, so I'm going to go ahead and get another paper towel. Now, for the tint side, let me show you. You are actually going to take start with the blue this time. Start with the blue. I'm going to clean my paintbrush off. Notice I'm doing a lot of cleaning of my paintbrush for this. And I'm going to get a little bit of black and mix that in. Let me just warn you, the black goes a long way, so it gets dark quick. Then I'm, I'm going to pull that black right across my paper like this. Now you might have noticed up at the top, I had my mountains um, going, they were a little more defined going up a little bit higher. And then the further down I go, a little bit, I'm, I'm just making them more into hills. Just, and you'll see this down here is almost straight across. To make it darker, I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the black. I'm going to mix it in to my blue, and I'm even getting a little darker. Now, your job today is to fill your entire page painting a landscape. Remember, a landscape is when we paint land. You are going to paint a landscape, and you are going to be using tints and shades. So here are my tints and shades. And I think you're really going to like doing this. Have a great time making your tints and shades landscape.